Step 1. Be sure to find a ceiling space large enough for your boat. Then, using a stud finder, determine if your ceiling beams are going to be running perpendicular or parallel to the length of your boat. Be sure to mark which ceiling beam or ceiling beams you will be using. The next step is to mark your eyelag holes on your ceiling beam. You can use a supplied template or measure your eyelags four inches apart. If you're using a parallel ceiling beam, you can use approximate measurements, in this case approximately 48. Or if you're using perpendicular beams, you're going to be increments of 24 inches, in this case 48 inches. The next step is to pre-drill your eyelag holes using a drill and a 7 and 32 inch drill bit. It's important to note that you need to be drilling into the ceiling beam and not just the sheetrock so you can achieve the proper weight capacity. The next step is to screw your eye lags into the beam. Be sure that your eye lag holes are facing each other, as pictured. If you are using one ceiling beam, attach the shackle to the outside eye lag. If you are using multiple ceiling beams, attach a shackle to either the left or the right eye lag. Then put your idler pulley on the shackle. Attach the rope clips to the remaining eye lags. Then thread the lead line up and over the idler pulley. Your ceiling setup should look just like this when it's done. Next, you need to attach the suspension strap to your boat. Thread the end up and through the cam buckle, leaving some slack. Grab the bottom, take it up through that center ring to make a loop, and attach the ratchet pulley. You want to get the ring and the ratchet pulley as centered as possible, so you'll need to do some minor adjusting, and then tighten it down nice and tight. Repeat on the other side. To raise your boat to the ceiling, simply pull down on the lead line. To lower your boat, apply tension to the lead rope. At the same time, apply tension to the safety release cord. This will fully open up the ratchet pulley. Do not just let go of the lead rope at this point. As you can see, with this two-handed system, you can smoothly and easily lower your boat to the floor.